people I really care about. But overall, for everybody else, how did it all end up? Yeah, exactly. Yesterday, the Dow was down 29 points and close to 21,783. Now, retail stocks had a relief rally after selling off the past few sessions, but it was not enough to take the broad market higher. Uh, trading was light before today's Jackson Hole, Wyoming Summit, and not a lot of major economic news. The yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury fell at 2.19%. Have you ever been to Jackson Hole? I have, in the summer, not in the winter. Oh, yeah. I was there in the fall, like Thanksgiving. It's beautiful. The Grand Tetons and Yellowstone Park are just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend, if you've never gotten a chance, head over there. Uh, let's talk Amazon. What's going on with them? Amazon plans to take over Whole Foods on Monday, and the first thing they plan to do is cut prices on food. They said they plan on having healthy and organic food available for everyone. Amazon will also offer a customer rewards program. Will offer deals through their Prime membership. Looks like the grocery business will change forever on Monday. Mm, we're going to talk about that a little bit later on with ABC because that is a big deal. How about uh, Apple? Not the fruit, the company. Exactly, Apple. Now they are investing 1.375 billion dollars to build two data centers in Wyoke, Iowa. They will buy 2,000 acres and employ 550 people in construction and operations and will have at least 50 people working in the center. Apple also plans to establish a $100 million public improvement fund. And its first objective is to build a youth sports complex open to all. Where are they going to build that? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they're building the same place oh, over okay. in Iowa or not. So. Gotcha. Uh, that's Apple. And uh, how about Janet Yellen? What is she saying? Yeah, later on this morning, Janet Yellen and Mario Draki from the ECB will deliver speeches at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. This meeting will close out a remarkable decade for central banks and could also be one of Miss Yellen's last acts as Federal Reserve Chair. We will be looking for any new action from the central banks as well as updates on winding down their balance sheets. Whatever happens, we'll bring it to you on Monday. Is her term over? Is that the deal? It, 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 yes, it is. Oh, interesting. And so we don't know what President Trump's going to do. He appoints, and then they, she has to be approved by the Congress, or by the, ratified by the Senate, right, or at least approved by the Senate? You got it. Yeah, interesting. All right. Uh, how about the markets today, Scott Crothers? Uh, today the Dow looks up 30 points. We expect a light day. Uh, but with a lot of news out of Wyoming. So. There you go. All right. Uh, Scott, have yourself a good day, and we'll talk to you Monday.